some people out there that may be wondering to themselves, who, who is Tolly Blanchard? Well, why, why should we care about Tolly Blanchard in 2021 at 67 years old? This man is coming out of retirement at 67 years old, and there ain't nobody who's a badder ass than him right now in AEW, and I can promise you that. November 28th, 1985, The Gathering. Tolly Blanchard, Magnum TA in the most brutal cage match in the history of our great sport, the I Quit cage match. Two men fought tooth and nail. Two men gave it everything they got, fist to fist, both men bleeding. Tolly Blanchard never said I quit and he's coming back on March the 3rd and he ain't saying I quit this time either. 1989, that's the last time we saw Tolly Blanchard on a national wrestling scale in the ring. 1989, you gotta understand, that's over 30 years that Tolly Blanchard has not stepped foot in a national professional wrestling ring. On your best day, all three of you, Jurassic Express, all three of you could not hold a candle to Tolly Blanchard now. In 2021, on March 3rd, you cannot hold a candle to Tolly Blanchard. This is the guy that was the engine that made the horseman run. Before we ever even met Tolly Blanchard, he was one of the most influential human beings in our careers. And now that we've been working with him side by side, we're better than we've ever been. We're more dangerous than we've ever been. And we're more hungry than we've ever been. Tolly Blanchard's with FTR and it is the dream team. Tolly Blanchard and FTR teaming up one time only to face you, Jurassic Express. He comes out of retirement to beat you up, Jurassic Express. And that's something you gotta have on your conscience. I don't care how big you are, Luchasaurus. I don't care how good you are. Jack Perry, I don't care how much fight and heart you have, Marco Stunt. Tully Blanchard's ready, obviously FTR's ready. March 3rd, we'll see you there, boys. Top guys, out. To everybody at home wondering, my name is Jade Cargill. Jade is, uh, I mean, it's pretty apparent from what we've seen, she is just a phenomenal athlete. She's strong, she's big, she's quick. Jade Cargill comes from a very accomplished athletic background. She's not willing to, to wait in line to, to really pay her dues to take those, those long road trips, you know, set up the ring and, and do all the, the dirty work. She's used to being a star, and from the moment she set foot in AEW, that was very clear. I've been sitting on the sideline, week after week, studying my competition. And you, Cody Rhodes, the American Nightmare, the Prince of Pro Wrestling. I think one week I heard you say you were the giant killer. Crossroads! You see, I know a giant. A real giant. And you know what his name is? Shaq. Shaquille O'Neal is somebody that's been a household name for over 25 years. I know it's an old cliche, one of the greats of all time, but it's true. A dominant player, an MVP, an NBA champion over and over again. And he's seven feet plus. He's 300 pounds, I'd say plus. He's a monster of an athlete. I mean, his presence is, is, is known way outside of the NBA, but now Shaq is bigger than life. Who the hell told you tonight was open mic night, bitch? When Brandy confronted her face to face, Jade just kind of laughed it off, but you could see that Jade was seething, was pretty upset. So she took matters into her own hands and wanted to make a statement. <laughs> We've seen the damage that uh, Jay Cargill can do. Jay just simply overpowered Brandy. And she went right for a joint. While your arm's in the sling, I think you should uh, watch Jay. You can probably get some pointers from her. Well, how about that? <laughs> how about that? Congratulations. Isn't that great well, news or what? I'm having a baby. Brandy's having a baby. Congratulations, Brandy. But how convenient that when a talent like me shows up here at AEW, you pop up pregnant. And if she ever returns, I'm gonna beat that ass. 
You guys better find me a worthy opponent for my time because I'm tired of this shit. When Jade attacked Brandy, that was kind of it for me. I'm the type of person, I don't judge anyone right away. I don't make opinions until they show their side. And she showed her true colors, but then Jade thought that it would be smart to attack me. <laughs> and it became personal. I'm fed up. I'm tired of getting attacked. And I'm about to stir your bitch ass up. Well, it looks like we may have a dandy of a tag team match brewing. Cody Rhodes, you little punk. You want a battle? You just name the time and the day. I'll be there. I have experience over Jade. I have grit, I have passion, I have heart, and I'm gonna give it everything that I've got. Don't be fooled by Cody's other ventures. Cody puts pro wrestling first. He thinks about it all the time. I'm gonna wrestle Cody Rhodes. Me and Jay gonna wrestle Cody and Red, Red, Pumpkin Pie. You know he's from a famous wrestling family, right? I don't care where he's from. He's not gonna jeopardize his image. Anybody that thinks he's gonna go through the motions, that dead wrong. World-class athletes like him, everyone to put themselves in a position where they look bad. You want some of the Shaq attack? Name the place. I think Cody and Red Velvet are gonna win because of their experience. Cody and Red Velvet are gonna have to rely on every single bit of technique that they have and just hope that Shaq and Jade can't land that one big shot. There's no doubt that Cody's a better, gonna be a better wrestler than Shaq, but you still got to account for size and athleticism. And I think that at the end of the day, uh, Shaq and Jade win. That's what I'm gonna do to you, Cupcake Cody. Attack Brandy. Now it's personal. Cody Rhodes teams up with Red Velvet to take on Jade Cargill and Shaq. I'll be there, you little punk. It's the Crossroads, an AEW Dynamite event, Wednesday at 8 on TNT.